guys, welcome back to the studio. Dawn here, and today we are going to make a card featuring our newest stamp set and matching die, which will be available on June 1st, 2011. It's our Pile It On 6x8 stamp set. This is a stamp set focused on birthdays. Uh, there's a lot of cute little little things in here. There's ice cream and presents, which can also double as a cake, and there's a bunch of little different sentiments in here. This is really good for creating um, invitations because uh, I've included the the uh, join us, the for, the when, the where, and then this little journaling line. So just a really, really fun stamp set. So for today's card, uh, we're going to be using the ice cream cone. Um, starting out with a berry sorbet card base by Paper Tray Ink. It's uh, standard size, four and a quarter by five and a half tall. And I'm pairing it up with a couple of pattern papers from, um, I think it's My Little Shoe Box collection. Or My Little Shoe Box. And the collection is, let's see, this little grid paper is from the Imaginary Friends Knock Knock. So I'm going to be using this side. And then I'm going to be using the uh, pink polka dots here. And again, this is from the Imaginary Friends collection, Monster Mash. And we're going to be using just a little strip of their brown polka dots, also by My Little Shoe Box. And it is the, let me see if I have the name here, City by the Bay collection. So let's, let's just jump right in and get started. So first of all, I'm going to do my stamping. And I've already die cut... Um, the little ice cream cone shape that we're going to be using right here. And this is a little peek at the actual die cut. And you'll notice that there's two ice cream shapes here. You've got the traditional ice cream shape and then the little soft serve cone. And then also, as a bonus, I've included these little pennant shapes to make your little banners. You cut three at a time, so it'll make uh, cutting out those banners super fast. Let's start over with that, sorry. <laughs> um, my dog, Izzy, was... Uh, scratching at the door and she wouldn't stop until I let her in so I figured I would uh, just let her in real quick and we can start over here again. So the top of the ice cream cone and the, the cone itself, I've actually left them intact so you'll do a little bit of masking and the reason I did that is because I didn't want to uh, permanently put the little scallopy shape here because you can use this cone with the other top, the soft serve top, or you can use it um, with this traditional scoop and the same with the other cone. That way um, you just have more flexibility. Also you can stamp this inside of the pennant shape if you wanted to. And as well you could make this into like a little party hat. So by keeping the, both of the shapes intact I just really kept the possibilities for how you want to use this open. Um, you could also stamp them separate if you wanted. I prefer to do masking. That way I can stamp scoops on top of each other. And let's go ahead and I'm going to use Stampin' Up's Regal Rose. I find it's a good complement to Paper Trank's uh, Berry Sorbet. And then I cut all of my masks out of um, a post-it note. And then what I do is I reuse it over and over. I just store it right on top of my stamp sheet like so. I just stamp, stick it right there on top and then it's ready and available for me whenever I want to use it. So I'm just going to mask off where I've already stamped. And then I just remove my mask. See if I can uh, pick this little shape up here. There we go. And then I have a cute little ice cream cone. Now I've also included in here little sprinkles um, that you can put on both shapes. I've included the, the uh, silhouette with the little sprinkles. So if I wanted to, I could, you know, stamp this in the chocolate chip and uh, put little chocolate chip sprinkles on here. Or, you know, I could do like a rock and roll on a couple different colors and do, you know, uh, rainbow sprinkles or whatever. Um, for this one, I'm just going to leave it as is. So now that I've got that stamped, I'm just going to set it aside and we can start assembling the card base here. 
So this right here is uh, three by four and a half, and it's going to eventually go right here into the center. And then I've got each of these little pieces cut out. So this one's going to go down first, and it is three by two inches. So three by two. Let's put some adhesive on this. And for my sentiment, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the sentiment right over here, and I'm going to pop this up right over here. So my sentiment, I'm using the What's the Scoop sentiment, and I'm going to end up stamping it right about, right about there. It's going to go right there, so let me grab some, uh, put him up on some Stampin' Dimensionals from Stampin' Up. Put him right there. Alright. I'm going to tie a piece of ribbon right across here, and I'm using a uh, Paper Tree Zinc uh, Dark Chocolate. And I'm just going to tie this in a knot. And you'll notice that since I have my embellishment over here on the left side, I'm going to do my knot over on the right side just for a little bit of balance. my excess now. Oops. And then I'm just going to play with this for a second until I get it just the way I want it. I'm going to take my We Are Memory Keepers Corner Chomper. I'm around the bottom corners using the half inch side. And then I'm going to put this right here on the middle. Now that I've got the dimensionals on, I'm just going to line this up in the center. Okay. Now I also want it around the edges right here. Last, I'm going to do some dashed lines all around the edge. Okay, I'm just finishing up these dashed lines right here at the top. And there you have your finished card. So again, 
Today we were using the um, the newest stamp set from the June 2011 release at W Plus 9 Design Studios. It's Pile It On and the matching uh, die cut. Um, again, you can find all of our supplies at www.wplus9.com. You can view more of our samples and more of our, my work at our blog at www.stampawaywithme.blogspot.com. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's video and thanks for watching.